Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Colorado Pain Network. The topic today is five things to know about failed back surgery. What exactly is failed back surgery syndrome? It's when low, surgery, low back surgery fails due to surgery either being done for the wrong reason, maybe the surgery was technically inadequately performed, or surgery was done for the right reason and not all the pain was relieved, that's common, or subsequent degeneration occurs around the area or scarring around a nerve root leads to pain. The symptoms of failed back surgery uh, are varied and they can include chronic back, leg pain, depression, unable to work properly, difficulty concentrating. It can kind of feed on itself um, with the pain leading to depression and so forth. The first thing to know is that failed back surgery syndrome occurs in 20 to 40 percent of those who have back surgery. Each repeat surgery has success rates that are lower than the first time and two years out from back surgery one in four patients become dissatisfied with their outcome. So this is not a phenomenon that is rare. It's actually very common. The second thing to know is that initial treatment should consist of the basics non steroidal anti inflammatories and Tylenol, which are available over the counter, physical therapy, chiropractic treatment, TENS units, and ultrasound, oral or topical prescription pain medications. You know, these are things that a lot of people just haven't tried who have failed back surgery syndrome, so it's the best place to start. Third thing to know is that there are some interventional treatment options available that can be extremely effective. Trigger point injections that can help with spasms and aching and muscular problems. Facet blocks, which are uh, injections into the small thumbnail-sized joints of the back that may be arthritic and painful. Medial branch blocks, which are injections around the facet joints that can stop the transmission of pain through those tiny nerve endings called the medial branches. Epidural injections can be very helpful if they're scarring around a nerve root with some inflammation um, or a uh, compressed nerve above or below the area of surgery. Uh, radiofrequency ablation. If a facet joint injection works or a medial branch block works and then the pain comes back, it can either be repeated or a radiofrequency ablation can relieve pain for 6 to 18 months. If all else fails and surgery is no longer an option, a spinal cord stimulator can be very effective in over 75% of patients. Um, it doesn't fix the problem, but it can be very effective for pain relief. For spinal cord stimulator implant, this has been revolutionary and it continues to get better. It works now well for both back and leg pain. As mentioned, it doesn't cure the pain issue, but it's great at masking pain and it works well over three-fourths of the time. It sort of looks like what you see here. You have a battery pack which doubles as a programmer. It has leads that go, this is all under the skin by the way, and it goes subcutaneously and then down deep into the area around the spinal cord and the electrical pulses that go through here can change the way the brain perceives pain signals and make it not painful. Before the final is placed, a person has to go undergo a trial placement, which is five to seven days, and then um, almost all insurance companies require a psychological evaluation. The fifth thing to know is that this is not a death sentence by any stretch. Failed back surgery does have a lot of options for it other than surgery. Um, it's not usually possible to achieve 100% pain relief. However, comprehensive options can get patients back to work, concentrating and sleeping better, um, and the top pain management clinics offer all the options that I just talked about. The top pain management clinics in Colorado are with Colorado Pain. They have several locations in the metro Denver area, Buena Vista, South Granby. Over 50 insurances are accepted, including workers' compensation, personal injury, PPO, some HMOs, Medicare, Medicaid, self-pay as well. The docs are board certified. They've received the Patient's Choice Award five years in a row. The number to call for treatment is 720-306-9575 and visit us on the web at painmanagementdenverco.com. I'm Dr. David Green with the Colorado Pain Network. Your pain stops here.